The fourth International Sankritan Day celebration in recognition of Nat Sankritan as a state heritage by UNESCO was held in Lamian Bashanglin Palace compound. Donor Ministry promises 480 crore rupees to bring about a developmental change in states' cooperative movement. Which a road to soon become lifeline of the state under the construction works of Bharatiya Infra Projects Limited. Agitated teachers lock up WAQBF board office at Hatta against non regularization of 150 teachers despite state cabinet's order for regularization. IED bomb blast at Kumbong Lengam village this morning. No reports of casualty. And social worker RK Joyce now votes to terminate parliamentary secretary's post from the state. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangtum with the top stories and latest news at this hour. The fourth International Sankritan Day celebrating the recognition of Nat Sankritan as the heritage of the state by UNESCO was held at Lamian Bashanglin Palace compound today. Addressing the celebration, Governor Dr. Najma Habtula said UNESCO has not issued a heritage certificate for Nuts and Clinton yet. She said a memorandum regarding the non-issuance has been submitted to UNESCO office in Delhi. She assured that a response in this regard will be received soon. Dr. Najma Habtula said that such unique art form needs to be promoted. She said research center needs to be set up to study the unique art form and for documentation. She said that she will also extend all possible assistance. The governor witnessed the Nuts and Clinton, Pung Cholom, Kubak Ise, Jal Cholom, Performances showcased on the occasion and appreciated the art forms. Speaker Yumnam Kim Chan, MLA's eminent personalities in art and culture, attended the event. We should have a research center where we can do some research and documentation and origin of Nati Sangeetan. I personally feel that awareness about heritage tradition or Sankirtan would help and go a long way in identification of the Manipur with the widespread and nationally popular Vaishnavya Bhakti Parampara revered and followed from Gujarat to Manipur and from Kashmir to Kerala. I feel proud of the rich cultural heritage of the Manipur and the recognition given by UNESCO to Sankirtan of Manipur as an intangible heritage is a richly deserved it. Cooperation and Social Welfare Minister Neem Chakibgan has announced that a donor ministry has promised to sanction 480 crore rupees to bring about a developmental change in state cooperative movement. The fund will be put into construction works and upgradation of the cooperative department's building and infrastructures. Neem Chakibgan made an announcement at a discussion meeting on promotion of cooperative societies held at Iboyai Mashumangli La Sanglin Palace Compound, organized by Manipur State Cooperative Union today. She said the cooperative department and the cooperative movement in the state lags behind compared to its counterparts. She said the donor ministry agreed to sanction the fund when a detailed report of 480 crore rupees was submitted to the ministry. She said the ministry also proposed the state government to give technical assistance to the department and that the work will be taken soon. Named further said there has been change in the cooperative movement in the country ever since the BJP came to power at the centre. 
She maintained that it is time Manipur also followed the changing wave of the cooperative movement. Named to also maintain that the people of the hills and the valley need go hand in hand. Emily Oinam Lokoi, Principal Secretary, Corporation Deputy Secretary and new office bearers of Manipur State Cooperative Union and representatives of several cooperative society attended the event. Discussions on strengthening of state cooperative movement and the union were held on the occasion. This is only for infrastructure. The government, office, quarter, technical assistance. Piro Haina government cooperative government Chitisho Pangre, was it called department NCTC the replies reply Piro Haina, a two put up the money, a two zero pong at the box in Tama Tama, one by one by her money. Bharatiya Infra Projects Limited BIPL has flagged off its vehicles for repairing National Highway 102B, also known as Kuite Road. The road that connects to the Chanpur district of Manipur and Mizoram and can be utilized during economic blockade and highway bond. The National Highway can now be a lifeline of the state. Repair works for the 68 kilometer and 60 meter stretch of the National Highway 102B from Singhat to Molnom was started by Bharatiya Infra projects limited bipl and a sam based private company under the national highway infrastructure development corporation limited since august last year the company has assured of completing the road construction works before the stipulated time with cooperation from people living in and around the areas as of now, WBM for 45 km stretch of Guite Road and black toppings for more than 10 km stretch of the road has been completed under BIPL. A team of media persons went to inspect a part of the Guite Road today. Interacting with media persons at Lungthulti, the camp office of BIPL company, senior project manager of the company, Estikin told the media persons that the people have started commuting on the road, which was earlier in hospital table uh, to vehicles when BIPL first came for the road construction works. Tiken said filling up of potholes and leveling have consumed major time during the initial phase of the road construction. He said despite various challenges, BIPL has assured of completing the road construction works prior to its stipulated time. The senior project manager appealed for people's support and cooperation in the area for the successful completion of the road. Makagi Lambisi, Shemna no honor for the Matam, Changman Hele, Hose Omzi, Nanganamus of Hushuogi Pandam Ditami, Positi Lambisi, Shema of Nina, Adogimatic Garisi, Sien Bahore, Mesuram Bosi, No Mutta Gari, Tanakuni Matake and Chelly. And a quay Lambisi Makanda, Gari, Lambisi, one way way Benina, Lambi Chapiriva, Doga Kungi, Sinau Shimesu, Queen Lambi, Messingi Jaga, Hypitari Sudi Vizaga, Hanga, Kambiraga, Cooperation, He and a Pipiragati, Anti Parmena, and I sighted Sienna Piriva Matam Sahi Omze. Sibuki, Manung Sida, Lucia and Mangam Nanava, Kana Honas again. Speaking to media persons in connection with the road construction works, senior engineer of the company, Potsangbam Satish said the ongoing road construction works are being carried out as per the guidelines and technical specification given by the National Highway Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited. He said since the road is a hilly road, there is requirement for proper drainages and as such, keeping in mind the people living in the area, the company has constructed kacha drainages on both sides of the road even though it was not part of the work project. He gave five years guarantee for the road and up to 15 years with proper maintenance. On the other hand, appreciations are pouring in for the construction of the road from villages who have been living with no proper road for a long time now. One Mamang from Lungtul T told media persons that initially BRT have started construction of the road before BIPL. However, the road has not been repaired or maintained since then. He expressed happiness that people can easily commute on vehicles from Lungtul T to Churachanpur, which was earlier very inconvenient. WBM has a kilometer in Fumangadi Lujare, the remaining part of 22 kilometers. 
Aduga Magi Le Bresse, China, quite three point six six near Timia Sea, Quagi, Department Gi, quite NSA, the Sena Pis, a quite seventy five MM. A Quagi Hogi Quella Singi, but DBM Sea, Quagi Magi Su three point six six Magi Bresse, Mitterni, Aduga Magi Timia Sna, fifty MM. Aduga Sigi Matak to Soki Bisila Kini, between this concrete Anna, Magina Mumagi Timia Sina, called forty MM Weber. A quick Hunde Lungtul Tidegi, Chacham Purfause, Pung Truk Tere Gumbase, Dum Changrame. Aduga, Hujik Lariba, BIP Company, Lakbumatung de Gihujik, Lambise Lungtul T de Gi, Chucham Purpause, Hanagumna, Natana, Hujik Pung, Ani Amamakai Gumbase, Changuda, Yam Nungai Jere, Hui, Kungi de Maksu. Road connectivity am the Lambitung, Pabuna, Leba Mugi Sakopi, Masak Lebli, Manipur State Kyo in a Lambitung, Patabamati Road connectivity, Watman, Maram Urga, State at the Sea, Hiramka, the Sotan Rima Samo Regli. Nakalamurum, the Yingba Yabadi, Singhati Mulum, Fobogi Lambi, a C. Bipelgi Makada, Tanaki Matam Dagi, Yam, the scientific oina, Nintina, Sim Liba, Sida, Manipurgi Lemo Riba, Nestan Highway, Mudi High State Highway Singa, Yam the competent Oiba, Authority, Amagi Makada, Lambi Sing, as his same Lavadi, State as he, Sakotpagi Lambida, Sunshoi Shoin and Lak, Payabi, Wafam Malagi. Came a person, Pibogloina, Pogdom Jariba, Bakta Tomic Bank News, Singhat. The repair work for the 26 kilometer stretch of road from Zero Point to Rachanpur police station to Suknu, the Chura Suknu road flagged off by MLA of Singhad Assembly constituency. GS Haupu and chairman of Manireda on November 26 was inspected by the MLA himself along with media persons today. The 47.96 crores for the Chura Suknu Road is funded by Social Infrastructures Development Fund, SIDF under the Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region Donor. MLA GS Hapu told media persons that the previous government was approached to repair the road, which has not been repaired since 1990. He said funds for repairing the road has been sanctioned a week ago and repair works have started since then. He called for collective efforts to complete the road repair works instead of blame games on social media. The Transport Department, under the supervision of Chief Minister N. Birin and Director of the Department, launched a drive against traffic low violators again under the Motor Vehicle Act today. The team, led by Imphal West District Transport Officer DTO R.K. Jayanta and Imphal is DTO THD Nachandra detained vehicles without license plates and necessary documents at a drive conducted near MSRTC gate, Yai School Police Lane. Speaking to media persons, DTO Dinachandra said that the drive was conducted to make the people aware that the rules under the Motor Vehicles Act are also applied in the state. He said persons who violate Section 39 of Motor Vehicle Act 1989 will be penalized with a fine of rupees 2,000 as penalty and repeated offenders can be fined rupees 5,000 or can be awarded imprisonment for one year. Dina Chandra said the drive will also be conducted in other parts of Imphal East, Imphal West, Thaupal and Vishnupur districts. Agitated teachers of WAQBF board lock up the office of the board at Hatta against non-regularization of 150 WAQBF board teachers approved by the state cabinet for regularization on November 24, 2016. The teachers also warned of calling a 24-hour statewide ban from 9 a.m. to 10 of this month if necessary steps had not taken up by the board. Speaking to media persons, Vice President of Old Manipur Madrasa Modernization Teachers Welfare Association, Mohammad Arshad said the cabinet had also instructed the chief executive officer of the board, Mohammad Nizamuddin Khan, to implement the order. However, chairman of the board, Emily Fazu Rahim, has not translated it into action. Mohammad Arshad termed it as a violation of the teachers' rights and demanded to issue regularization order by the December 9th. He further warned that the association is all set to call the bond if their demand is not met and added all staff of WAQBF board will be restricted from entering the board's office. He also appealed to authority concern to take befitting actions against the chairman and chief executive officer of the board.
cabinet pasta okay, but again, a ship of Sahi Amma Helava, Sileta, a quid, who you order, Sinada Basi, Kari Marangino, Sahi, a whom he had a tolo, Panga, no Zamuka, Shatter Sing, Taga, Luna, a gang, a ship over Lerapani, Masileta, a quid, a dugi order, so Namsin Biraga, Ozasim will victimize the weary. Masiki Sapsabu Marango, Mena, Tigalaga Mara, Lebesing, the DPU, Liber, the nine Pogi Manunda, I quit Sapsabu Maram, Makanga Laga, Makoi, Matak, the Exa Loka, the Taragadi, Tang Mapan, Yahing, and Edegi, Tang Taragi, Hing, and Yapo, Manipur Masapu. Kanglai Park, Thaupang Loop, local clubs and Maira Paibi Loop in adjoining areas of Tondonsna High Secondary School has organized a set-in protest in front of Odipo Kam Debo Road against a proposed establishment of Ram Krishna Mission at Tondonsna High Secondary School premises. The people at the set-in demanded to construct a Ram Krishna Mission in other parts of state like Ziribam, Langol or Lamboy Kong Nankong. They further contend that Tondonsana High Secondary School is not just one of the oldest schools in the state, but it gives a platform for education to poor students who are unable to attend private schools, and thus they appeal to the concerned authority to shift away their institution to different parts of the state. Despite the government's relentless efforts to save and reserve the forest and environment, felling of trees continues on massive scale in the inner part of some hill areas. Felling of trees has become the means of livelihood for many people. Though the Forest and Environment Minister and Forest Department officials are putting all-out effort to track down and find the timber ferrying vehicles in Emphal Valley, little efforts are taken up in the hilly areas. In some parts of Senghat constituency, in Churachampur district adjoining Mizoram, felling trees for charcoal has been a source of livelihood for many villages. A person who deals in wood from Molom village in Sinkhat constituency revealed that during the season, 20 to 30 truck lot of woods are sold at a price of up to 30,000 rupees per truck and charcoal at 350 per bag. Such practices of openly felling and selling of wood and charcoal continues ju not just in Mal Molnom area alone, but in other parts of the Singhat as well. Just after the recent three simultaneous IED blasts in Konkan in Kamjong district, a powerful IED bomb exploded at Kumbong Langam village today. The incident occurred on Imphalziri Road between Langam village and Sagol Tongba, about 200 meters westward of Kontaujam Lamkai under Patsoi police station around 9.10 this morning. However, there are no reports of casualty from powerful IED bomb explosions suspected to have been planted by unknown miscreants. Imphal West SP, including Patsoi police station and personnel of 5th JK Rifles, rushed at the spot to investigate the matter. However, no information as to why the bomb has been planted dead is still unknown and no one has claimed responsibility so far. Social Welfare Minister Neem Chakibgan has inspected the condition of Mangshataba Menaka, the victim of the unwanted and terrifying first ever acid attack in the state. Minister Neem Chakibgan has strongly condemned the grueling incident and assured of extending all possible assistance to the victim. It may be mentioned that Menaka was attacked with acid while she was returning home on her two-wheeler at Kurai Soi Bamlaikai Wangkai Kuna around 8.30 in the evening of November 29. The culprit of the incident identified as Mohammad Shahadat alias Tomba, son of Mohammad Azad Ali from Ita Kola in Hatta, was arrested by the police that same day and is now in police custody. Menaka, who has sustained 10% Acid burn injury on the right side of her neck and chin is undergoing treatment at the burnt unit in Rims after being referred from Janam's hospital. Named Chakibgan visited Menaka at the burnt unit, Rims, and expressed her deep sorrow at the incident today. She highly condemned such incident and asserted that the culprit should be given befitting and lawful punishment. She gave financial assistance for Menaka's treatment from her aunt and further assured her family of extending any help possible from the government. A seed attack toba, as in Manipulgi, Yanatanga, Topa, Todok Amani, Ian Gimatung inna, Maran toba me oido, Dandi Pampom toy, Pishu Pirakani, Adogamating Pangba Yaba Man Sarkardegi, Government Degi, Mating Pang Bigani, Todok a sea, Yamna, condemned toy, as you gumba, a seed attack, Torak Pahibasi, 
matungdasu thorak ta ba oi oi rasu nu yamna laibak thibani a team of 25 members led by President of Manipur Sivh Sena, M. Tombi, will be leaving for Delhi to meet the party's national leaders pertaining to the issue of framework agreement. M. Tombi revealed that six persons have already left M. Far today and another 16 will be leaving in the coming days. Speaking to media persons at Sivh Sena office in Babupara today, M. Tombi stated that even before knowing the many details of the framework agreement, the ruling government and the leaders from Former government are always at Loker's head by playing the blame game to each other. Speaking further, he said instead of throwing tantrums to each other regarding the framework agreement, it would be logical to go and meet the leaders at Delhi and know the details of the agreement. He said in line with the public meeting conveyed by different CSOs and political parties few days ago, Siv Sena will be the first political party to head for Delhi regarding the matter. He further said they will apprise all the 19 MPs and three Rajya Sabha MPs to pressurize the government to reveal the contents of the framework agreement during the winter session that will commence from December 15 to 25th. Congress of the BJP na game blame to use. Masi khudak to talk piu miang bi awa bo kono na ba dola doli khai thana. Si so punam so yau piu Delhi room na mai onse lassi akoi di Delhi sale ni Delhi da koi lobby to kono ni masi ki matang sa Manipur miang bi awa bo kono maya ba pautom maya ba akoi madhu lobby to use sare ni. Bharat ki President Ramnath Kovind ji na atu matam da nagagi shanti ki wari share porak thana. Yam na tangdu leita ba ma atu ma tamdu hoi rani na hafse Shiva Sena na welcome tawi. Sahi listen kaya ki history na yom na la ba akoi ki Manipur ki status quo se masi di shape tawi o masi di kud thingjat mira kano masi di kud thingjat lagbo targadi Shiva Sena amadi Manipur mi am na tumi na leroi. Thangweban Kendra Development Committee said they will fully support the sit-in to be held on December 7th, organized by Thangweban United demanding disclosure of the framework agreement. Speaking to media persons at Kuya Thong Puja Community Hall, General Secretary of the Thangweban Kendra Development Committee, K. Dilan Kumar said, President Ramnath Kovind's announcement at the Hornbill Festival in Nagaland that the Naga issues will soon be resolved has left the people of Manipur more confused he appealed for a collective movement to protect the integrity of the state integrity to guide the state of the same natragana hoogi naga taba lam kai punzil laga administrative unit amagi makada thambagi matang duna maram oiraga hoogi nukshi chanana le minari ba hoogi naga chingi tammi isini nao chingi marakta singsep thadana thugai bagi pochima hoi tagdo na yaring dama phongdok chari hoogi manipur praja miyamgi Interest so far, thabak tau bhi aroi hai. Jinna so koi tak do na machine thamzari. Thay ban United Club machine liba, wo machine thale paga. Pangtho ka dabaa machine protesi tak do na sabu chabni. Sangsil aiba machine protesi jda koi rajniti ki khe na bhat thamdana. Mani purkai bhi aroi hai bichi. Kaman agenda aur bhi na shayda sangsin mina do na protesi jhi yaumi na shayda hai bichi. Thay ban praja amadi mani pur praja ki mafam da tak do ki magadi ki appeal tau zari. Kabui Dharma Sabha Manipur observed Kabui Salang Maiba Memorial at a community hall of Loktak project Kodan in Churachanpur district yesterday. Kabui Dharma Sabha Manipur in a press release said the day was observed to remember Kabui Salang Maiba and Kamba Thoibi. Coordinating Body Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee Manipur CBSTDCM in a press release has stated that it held a meeting along with representatives from Zilla Parishad, Pradhan and members of Making Dolai Thabi Gram Panchayat pertaining to the tribal status demand and took three-point resolutions. It's time for a small commercial break. Social worker R.K. Joysana asserts unceasing efforts will be made for full removal of the appointment, salary and allowance and miscellaneous provisions act 2012. We will be back with the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. Social worker R.K. Joyce asserted that unceasing efforts will be made for full removal of the appointment, salary and allowances and miscellaneous provisions, Act 2012, which gives 
special powers to the state's parliamentary secretaries from the state. Addressing media persons at Manipur Press Club, Joy Sinha said, even though a PIL was filed against the act and the state's parliamentary secretaries were removed, there are chances that new state's parliamentary secretaries would be appointed in future if the act remains in existence in the state. It may be mentioned that the High Court of Manipur issued an order for the removal of seven parliamentary secretaries in July 17, 2017 and the remaining five parliamentary secretaries in October 25, 2017 as per a PIL filed by Joy Sana. On the other hand, R.K. Joy Sana also claimed that his PIL filed removed the economic blockade in 2016 last year and even made the state government to declare minute inspection of repair words on the national highway. In a hurry to the lawyer, I did exit a moment. I saw in a massive cost of the box. I take in every case. I do my train to the local cry. A case, she came to the lane and I come on Ponteva. I do a do my dear daughter lawyer. I do a house in a road, Kitamula is in a kind of the cover and a pong beer up with Kanda, Mary Chumna Chumna, Emma Sijo is an anatomy when he hired to Palending Bugiwani. I do Palakta to the night. Progressive composer Manipur PCM, an exclusive organization of the state's music composers, was established on November 30th. Addressing media persons at Manipur Press Club today, executive member of PCM G. Him Chandra said the main objective of setting up the organization was to look into the concerns and issues of composers in the state as well as to river the well known composers of the world. <laughs> adegi hujiki technologically am chakhot laba music style composition gi norm sing technical oiba sigumba mayam sing shibu so khoina karama mongda nei na ragadi kamai na tammagadi ai khoi he na phaba prithvi da leiriba to ba country sing na traga india da leiriba state sing da satna leiriba music gi hujujik leiriba moi gi stage se ai khoi na leiriba stage se ga compete tawma tamda he na mangjin thaba ngam na bugi da makta kari kari tamba ma thok tai kari kari nei na ma thok ta gi haiba sing se khoina Nah ini nampak kita mukti expert sing kau raga workshop tau ba, atai atai apa gigi classes tau nampu kau nampu, segun bersing segi pandam sing kara lejari. Health and Family Welfare Minister L. Jente Kumar has categorically stated that the biggest headache for his administration is the issue pertaining to the issue of transfer and posting. The minister made a statement at the inaugural event of staff quarter and casualty block of Sugnu Community Hall health center organized by Directorate of Health Services, Manipur. The staff quarter was constructed under the multi-sector development scheme of 12th plan funded by Ministry of Minority Affairs and Minorities and Other Backward Classes, DRDA Taubal, Manipur, at the cost of 3 crore 50 lakh rupees. The ministers further stated that due to the lack of proper lodging facilities in the hills, transfers and postings, allotment becomes a troublesome task. He further expressed that the public demands for better healthcare facilities increases with each passing day. However, the state cannot eradicate all the problems due to the shortage of funds. He further stated that the state machinery is doing all it can to alleviate the status of the people. <laughs> ไอ้ไล่ยิงจะเกะให้พี่วัสดุตัวเลยนะดอกเตตัมกรีนี่อีเวนท์นอร์สิงกีเก็ปปิ้งเซโรมอนิตอรียมเนี่ยแคนเด
CHC for their medical needs. The people also further appealed to the doctors and nurses to earnestly serve the needy and sick people. Minister Jayanta Kumar also declared that Sukhno PHC is indeed worthy to be upgraded as sub-district hospital status and a bill pertaining to the matter would be tabled before the cabinet. Meanwhile, the minister and his team also visited the Cerro PHC and stated that all necessary requirements of the PHC will be looked into so that medical facilities is provided 24 hours. Pujikti, Kataraga Taru, Stab Tara Taruxi Leviare, the Hanagi Ladyba, Aduga di Kunmupu Rumbea, Aduna Sidagi, the Stab Se, Efsen Viragano, Efsen Veragadi Madugi, Tabukdo, Department of Fazana, report a Pizaga, Exen Locot Piu, Brandi Nahanga, the quarter later, Bagi, the Tumbam Late, Labam Late, Hadan Nantok, Nantom Bado, Nasi, Haven, Missidagi, the Suna, Labiro, Hadan Stab Singa, I force not to go a request, I give Stab Singa. The Mori Hospital, which caters not only to patients from Mori but even patients from Myanmar, is full of inadequacy. Even though the health minister, other ministers, and MLAs have visited the hospital several times, the hospital still lack of adequate infrastructures. Upon close inspection by Impact News, it was found that various equipments in the hospital, including the X-ray machine and ultrasound machine, are not usable. The huge X-ray machine in the hospital was found to be damaged and not in use for more than two years, and even the ultrasound machine was spoiled and not in use for a long time. The solar panel and batteries for alternative power supply in the hospital was also found to be in a non-functional state. There is only one woman dentist in the dental department of the hospital. However, the dental department is closed most of the time due to lack of residential quarters. Apart from lack of residential quarters for doctors and nurses, rendering them to alternate their duties at the hospital, even the road leading to the hospital is in a terrible condition and commuting to and fro in the hospital has become really inconvenient even with small vehicles. All Manipur Working Journalists Union Amju is staging a sit in protest meet at Kashampat against a charge sheet of, by BJP upon the president of the union, Wang Kemja Shyamjai. Advisor of the Amju, Tombiraj Ning Thokongjam, made the announcement during press meet at Manipur Press Club today. Tombiraj further stated that the Amju has taken a final stand on how to deal with the allegations on its president. He also disclosed that memorandums will be submitted to the Governor of Manipur, Dr. Najma Haptula, Press Council of Indian, Indian Journalists Union. Union President of Prime Minister of India after tomorrow's protest meet. On the other hand, he also declared that the complaints would be lodged at cybercrime so that proper legal action could be taken by against the spokesperson of BJP R.K. Sivchandra for defaming the president of Amjo by using his name and humiliating him on social media. It may be mentioned that General Secretary of BJP K. Surat and spokesperson of BJP R.K. Sivchandra filed a defamation charge against Wang Kemcha Shyamjai for expressing his opinions against the BJP during a VIP culture discussion on a local TV channel. Wang Kemcha Shyamjai allegedly blamed the BJP party for acting as BAP disp BIP despite the party's declaration that BIP culture has been eliminated. Magi escort Yauduna, Magi PSO, PSO, Hedi Personal Security Guard to the Mine Hena Kabodagas, we had to go. Sunka Kadaba, Aduga, Gasagi, BIP culture, Mutakani, Hariba. Kamu Dugi Kamuna BIP Lowe have it though. When a low gadi a quick issue Hyruna. Surrender to Buena surrender to the Akoya Dum Yagiva. And a Duchu Lok Seligo. President or can just some Zaida telephone to Raga. Hey Tony Shiro, Hamless Hero Nung Halura Nung and a Hyro Budu the telephone the go. I look at high ability by a jelly. I it is not a culture. Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol Kada seized 18 litres of alcohol from one Thokchom Ibopishak 
age 60, son of late A.J. Bocha from Bishnupur Makale Kai, Ward number 5, around 6 p.m. yesterday during a drive. The drive was jointly conducted by Kada Bishnupur District Committee and Bishnupur Ward number 5, Apun Bamaira Paibi Lub, as a part of the relentless effort to ban the indiscriminate sale and consumption of drugs and alcohol in the state. Ibu Pishak, along with the seized liquor, were handed over to Bishnupur Police Station. The seized liquor have been destroyed in front of Bishnupur Police Station. Tourists from various places of the country and abroad are mesmerized by the beauty of the one and the only lake in the entire northeast, the Loktak Lake. The tourist homes stay open at the residence of Oina Maipak Chau in Thanga Ngaram Lakeai, under Bishnapur district, is drawing the attention of the tourists day by day. Speaking to our Bishnapur correspondent, Naresh, tourists have expressed happiness and highlighted the benefits of staying at such homestay instead of hotels as it gave them more opportunity to intermingle and interact with the locals and get a chance to get first-hand experiences of their lifestyles like going to paddy fields and other places etc. They hinted that if government takes the initiative in setting up such stay homes, more and more tourists will be attracted in the areas. Owner of the homestay, Oinam Mai Pak Chau, expressed a desire for the state government to consider setting up such homestays in and around the Loktak Lake as he strongly opined that such homestays will not only improve the economy of the state but also give employment opportunities for the unemployed youths in the state. This is my first time here in uh, Loktak Lake and definitely the homestay was such an amazing place to stay, staying with the, so I always prefer staying with the local people and eating the local food and I think it couldn't have been any better than this and uh, yeah I would request the government if something more, some assistance can be given or some more training can be given to these people who to equip themselves better uh, in terms of uh, hospitality. Yeah. And I would encourage the government to have more homestays like this. Manipugi laimai the ihan hana taujeri homestay si da aigi family da asuki mati kana bo pibonga mi aduga masito umma madam da aigi surrounding people sing siu asuki mati benefit fangi Manipugi laimai da jaga jaga kuding magta yamna pesha sangdena asuki mulo bo homestay si taubat targa di Manipugi income si asuki mati hengat pengam gani thabu phangda bagi problem wa mai suri bese. Masigumba, homestays at Tauragadi, Ikogi, Tau Pondo, and Harun Singsu, Praja Singi, Mike Degesu, Yamna Kanaba, Pibungamani, Adana Government, Gimike Degesu, Asugumba, homestays, Yam Inisetta Honing Bagi, Ayapamba, Tazava Laze. The 48th edition of the short play competition for creative directors begin today at Manipur Dramatic Union Auditorium, Yash School Police Lane. Chairman of Manipur Pollution Control Board, El Radha Kishore, inaugurated the event organized by Theatre Centre Manipur in association with Manipur State Kala Academy. President of Theatre Centre Manipur Padmashri Warepa, Nava and various personalities from the field of drama attended the opening event. Two short plays, Dr. Fostos performed by Kanglai Living Arts and Mangalgi Wangmada Rabai performed by Pakhangba Theatre were showcased on the opening day. ที่เทเตอร์นะชื่อชุมเพลงเอ่อไอ้คนน่ะดราม่าดีอะดูกาชุมมันกูไม่กี้ไอ้คนตัวนั้นตัวนั้นบ่อะไรที่ชอบกัน
tournament kicked started at Deco Turf Officials Club Lamphal Park today. The tournament is organized by Manipur Tennis Association under the aegis of All India Tennis Association. 30 boys from Assam, Chandigarh, Delhi, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Orissa, Telangana, and Manipur, while 20 girls from Gujarat, Telangana, West Bengal, Assam, Tamil Nadu, Delhi, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Orissa, and Manipur are taking part in the tournament. In the under 16 boys match play today, Anchit Gogoi defeated Arunesh Bora 6 3 6 3. Ayana Tizapwala beat Neeraj Tokchom by 6 2 6 3, while Haubam Bushin defeated Harsha Para by 2 6 6 4 6 2 points. In the fourth match of the tournament, Indar Balan beat Kanishka by 6 1 6 1, while Varun Golu Supudi beat Justin K. Panmai by 6 2 7 5 points. It's a national tournament. Throughout the India, participants are taking part in it. In boys category, there are 30 players playing in this tournament. And in girls, 21 players are taking part from different states of India. Uh, as this is the almost the last event, uh, last month of the year, so participants are a little bit less. But uh, they are still trying to get some points so that then they can be entered into their future big events. This tournament is well organized, well maintained by the Manipur, State, uh, Manipur Tennis Association. And as of now, every player, parents, all are happy. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. The fourth International Sankirtan Day celebration in recognition of Nat Sankirtan as state's heritage by UNESCO was held at Lamyan Mashangan Palace Compound. Donor Ministry promises 480 crore rupees to bring about a developmental change in state's cooperative management. Guiti Road to soon become lifeline of the state under the construction works of Bharatiya Infra Projects Limited. Agitated teachers lock up WAQBF board office at Hatta against non-regularization of 150 teachers despite state cabinet's order for regularization. ID bomb blast at Kumbong Langham village this morning. No reports of casualty. And social worker R.K. Joyce now goes to terminate parliamentary secretary's post from the state.